Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. One, two, one, two. Rocking with the No Vultures podcast. You got me, myself, Lord Rap. You got OG Clee going away on a vacation. He in the feds, free OG Clee. He just called in today. You got Corn the Barber. He gone. He he was supposed to be here, but it was his kid's birthday. So, you know, we real dads. You know what I'm saying? That shit take precedent. And today, we got a very, very, very special guest. Now, you if you grew up in my time and you ever heard a phrase like, things, half things, hard, soft, QPs, zippers. That was what the basis of our childhood was because we was hearing the nigga talk that talk on, on these motherfucking records that was getting around to the world. If you ever seen a big, tall, light-skinned nigga, you know what I'm saying, in two short videos with Shirley's and was wondering, who is this pimp nigga? He wasn't even no pimp. He was just one of the sauciest niggas in Oakland, you know what I'm saying, that was coming up and soon to be one of the biggest executives, you know what I'm saying, and best CEOs that ever did it. You know what I'm saying? If you ever heard of Operation Stackola... I got five on it. If you ever heard of Drew Down, Pimp of the Year, you know what I'm saying? If you ever heard of Too Short and the Dangerous Crew, then you heard of this man. We got C-Note, Chris Hicks in this motherfucker today. C-N-H, man. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening with you, bro? Oh, uh, nothing, my brother. I'm just hanging like wallpaper, sucker ducking. Yes, sir. And I got to give you the No Vultures disclaimer, right? We started a podcast, right? Not because we had to or because we was... You know, we needed we needed to because we got a love for this shit, right? And we felt like our culture was drowning. Like, we ain't got no media outlets. We ain't got no real niggas to tell the real stories. Meanwhile, we could get online and figure out what was going on in Queensbridge in a heartbeat. Find out what was going on between Nori and Mob Deep and Nas in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? And right, they tell right, their stories right, and it's cool. Right. Coming from where we come from. We so drug and street oriented, right? We never told our stories because it was like we was telling. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real but, talk. Yeah, but now that niggas is older and, and realize back in the day, statues of limitations is up on a lot of shit. This shit is legendary. You know what I'm saying? So I had to give you that disclaimer just to let you know what time we on, man. True that. True you know that. what I'm saying? So how you doing, bro? I'm doing all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so, man, CNH, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I think I first laid eyes on CNH probably in one of them whips, you know what I'm saying? And, and I was a little kid, like, damn, this nigga saucy. But it could have been on a hoop court, too. Yeah, true that. At true Horseman. That. Yeah, true that. Next true to that. Gov House. Yeah, true that. Where Drew Down stayed around the corner. Right. Now yeah. across the street. Across the street. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, across yeah, the street. Yeah. Grandmama stayed right Grandmama across stayed the street. Grandmama stayed So do niggas know you were saucy like that on the court? Uh, Yeah, because I play ONBL, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Oakland Neighborhood Basketball League, you know what I mean? Right. Real ballers know right. about that. Right. You that was know for the saying? niggas that didn't have grades. Yeah, nah, uh, it was just an um, Oakland Recreational League that, you know yeah. what I'm saying, they used to, you know what I mean, have and, you know. You know, all areas of the town, you know what I'm saying, depending right. on what area of the town is and who you play for. Right, right. So, so born and raised in the town. Yes, I'm born in Samuel Merritt Hospital, Oakland, California, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah born yeah. and raised in the town. So, you know about, you know, I heard some brothers the other day was trying to wonder, you know, where I come from or what turf I come from. You know what I mean? I come straight from Oakland. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was, you know what I mean? You, you was know, born at Merritt. I, I was born at Samuel Merritt. You know and what I'm and so when you when you when you left the hospital, like what neighborhood did you go to? Uh, I went to West Oakland, man. You, you know went what to saying? West Oakland. I went to 31st and Market. Okay. You know what so I'm saying? so around the, around this my time, my mama my mama had an apartment on 31st and Market. Around this time, I'm imagining right. You seeing all the pimps and players. Oh right. yeah, San Pablo was popping the most at that time. You know what but I'm saying? The, and we stayed one block off San Pablo. We stayed right behind the store. We stayed right exactly behind the, the liquor store on 32nd in San Pablo. You know what I'm saying? My mama. You know what I'm saying? We stayed right there. So you know that that whole area right there was just heavy. You know what I mean? Into the pimping. You know what I mean? Drugs and everything. But you know what I'm saying? My mama was just you know a single black woman. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what right. I mean? When 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 I um got old enough to know like what was going on in San Pablo when it was still a whole stroll like when it was in the eighties you know it's kind of fucked up because they started smoking coke and shit right so but in your time is it I'm asking you because you was able to see it see it right. full flesh right? right live and direct right 
was the hoes as bad as they say they was? Yes, they were. <laughs> there was beautiful women out yeah. there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There yeah. was beautiful women out there. And I, you know what I mean? I was, you know, like, you know, from the ages. I mean, I can remember like four or five, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? But my mother, as far as, you know, us, you know what I'm saying? Her being a single parent, you know what I'm saying? We moved a lot. So I, I moved to different parts of the town, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. niggas want to really say where I'm from. I'm really from, you know what I'm saying, all over, if you really want to say. Because I started in the West, you know what I'm right, saying? I right. went to first and second grade at Durant. Okay. See, niggas don't even know what Durant is. Yeah, Durant, I don't. Yeah, they don't even know what Durant is. Durant was the elementary school that was there before Marcus Foster. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Marcus Foster was a, um, a, a, a school that was built on top of Durant. Durant was tore down, but I went uh, to Durant to okay. kindergarten first grade, you know, okay. right there in West Oakland on okay. 29th and West Street. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? That's where I started my first school in the 29th and West Street. So, you know, I grew up there. Then my grandmother lived on the corner of 29th and West Street. Uh, my grandmother. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that was my first little area, 29th and West Street. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So, I, 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 I kind of grew up right there. You know what I'm saying? As a little boy, Holly Rock stole my bike. If y'all know who Ooh. Holly Rock is, you know what I'm saying? When I was eight years old, Ooh. Holly Rock stole my bike. That was so, legendary. You know what I'm just saying? So about questioning about where I'm from, from the town, I'm really from the town, you know what I'm saying? Really, born really town and, business. Yeah, born and raised, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Holly Rock stole my bike at eight years old, nigga. I'm fighting niggas, you know, like that, you know what I'm saying, when I, back then. And then, like I said, me and my mother, she moved to different parts of the town. We lived in Berkeley for a hot minute, okay. you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I lived in Berkeley for a hot minute, you know what I'm saying? So you picking up partners as you yeah, go around, though. Yeah, picking up though. partners, yeah, as I'm going around, so that's how I'm getting known, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying, by, you know, different areas. You Was know you rocking I mean? long hair the whole time? No, I wasn't rocking long hair. I was okay. just working, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, at first I was. I had the curly afro. You know, I had the big natural at first. You know, when the naturals was going, I had the super long natural, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And when shit got older, you know, I went to the GQ days. Right, then, right, know, right. went GQ. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know what I mean? I did that. But then, you know what I'm saying? Then from Berkeley, you know what I'm saying? We bounced to the town, you know what I'm saying? So then I was in the town. And I lived in different parts of the town, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's how I really got known, you know what I'm saying, all over from West Oakland. Then I lived in North Oakland for a I lived in Fab Hood, you know what I'm saying? I lived mm -hmm. on 45th and West Street, mm -hmm. right on the corner, 45th. You know what I'm saying? So I got known over there in the north side for the, when I was over there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, then from there, you know what I'm saying, we bounced to, you know what I'm saying, to B-Town. Then from B-Town, you know what I'm saying, we bounced to the to Oakland, you know what I'm saying? I live by Highland Hospital, you know what I'm saying? Right over there. Now, so you moving there. schools when you moving too? Yeah, I'm moving schools. So you got hella partners. I've got hella partners. Then I'm catching yeah. the bus too. Yeah. I'm on the bus. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm moving around now, I'm on the bus. Because, you know, sometimes I'm staying at the same school, so I'm on the bus. You know what I mean? Right. I'm going to school in Berkeley, but we live in Oakland now. Because mm -hmm. we done moved out of Berkeley. Yeah. But I'm still going to school in Berkeley. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm catching the 57, you know what I'm saying? And the 43, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Bing, bing. So, you know, I'm knowing niggas on the bus. I'm, you know, I'm going from Berkeley to Oakland. I'm, you know, I'm maneuvering, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, back in the day. Yeah. So that's how, you know, my face got to be known. So I got to, you know what I mean, people got to know who I was. You know what I mean? So when I'm you, a real town nigga. You so know what when saying? you growing up, right, and you meeting your partners and all that, and you going to school, like, what's like the soundtrack to your life, though? Like, what's the music? What's you, what you hearing all the time? Man, but well, see, my music is deeper than that because my come family. Come from your uncle, right? Yeah, because my family is music. You know what I'm saying? Right. My family come from music. You know what I'm saying? My mm -hmm. mother's brother is the bass player Frankie Beverly and Mays. Right. From, so when I, from, from when I was 10 up, I was watching Mays come up. You know, I watched Mays' whole program from when they was in San Francisco as a group. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to make it. And Marvin Gaye heard them over there. Marvin Gaye signed Mays. You know what I'm mm. saying? Marvin Gaye is the person who first signed Mays. Frankie Beverly and Mar If it wasn't for Marvin Gaye, it wouldn't be no Frankie Beverly. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm just going right. to keep it true. You so know? was Frankie... Frankie Beverly in Mays at the time? Yes. Mays was just one group and Frankie I Beverly remember was, just the Mays yeah, albums. Mays, it was just yeah. Mays and Frankie yeah. Beverly was just the lead singer. You okay. know how the game changes, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's the one instance I can show you how the music game changed where I watched how my uncle's situation changed 
from where his group went from a group to then the main singer wanted to be featured. It went to Maze, then it went to Maze featuring Frankie Beverly, then it went to Frankie Beverly and Maze. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I, I watched the transition of how the music game go even before I got into the music game just by watching how my uncle's situation went down. You know what I'm saying? So it really helped me to really, you know, keep my business tight and have my business tight on, you know what I'm saying? To when, you know what I'm saying, I got into the game. But back then, I didn't even know I was going to get into the music game because I wasn't in the music game. I was into the streets. Was you able to uh, really experience it and, like, go on the road with them and, like, do little shit with your well, uncle, with Frankie Beverly and May? Oh, uh, no, I was their man. You, you was their man? No, I mean, as a little kid, like I yeah. said, I... I was doing FedEx before niggas even thought of FedEx. I was doing FedEx in 1980. What was you was FedEx doing with the FedEx? Me. I was FedEx and my uncle and them weed when they was on tour to different shows because they was running out of weed when they was doing shows. I was FedEx in the 1980. So you been green send, weed, you been, indica, you been sending indica. that pack. And I was the first nigga to have green weed in East Oakland. You know what I'm saying? Before brown weed came out, I was the first nigga that brought green weed to East Oakland. Came from Cal Berkeley. That's probably gonna be the most controversial things you say all night. <laughs> came from Cal Berkeley. Nigga. Niggas, you First, know niggas gonna niggas, claim niggas, that like, niggas, hold niggas, on, Chris. Niggas, niggas, niggas had already called me reference. about that. Niggas better do their reference. Nigga, the first green weed came from Cal Berkeley, nigga, in 1980. Ooh. Before that, it was nothing but brown weed coming from Mexico. The mm. first green weed was produced from white boys who went to Cal Berkeley. Mm. I bought my first gram of green weed, nigga, from a dormitory in Cal Berkeley. I paid $7 a gram for it. Mm. And I got hooked up with the white boys who first went to Humboldt County. Mm. I know them. They went to Cal Berkeley. Damn, that's some cold shit right there. The first set of white boys that started the whole Golden Triangle. Damn. Come from Cal Berkeley. Damn, that's cold. So when you when you got hooked up with the white boys, of course, you got the first green weed in East Oakland, right? Right, so, so I came to East Oakland and I sat it down. You was the man. I was the man. You know what I'm saying? I was the man. I, How I was hard was man. it to get though? Huh? Like like between the customers and between you getting it from the from the connect. How hard was it for you to get from the connect? Because we see how slow. I mean, you know, they sped shit up now. The weed yeah, grow every ninety yeah, days yeah, and yeah. all that shit. But I'm saying, how fast was you able to get it back to the streets? Because it was rare. I know, but they. I, I don't know. They always they had it. They had it. You know and so you was just able to. I and was so just able to and keep so it. is that is that is that the beginning of the nigga we seen later on in the years that just was extra saucy because you got the paper now if you got the only green weed right you been having it right all right just right. straight up let's just keep right, it real right, like right, niggas want right, to hate right and all that shit right. but that you been was, having that, it that was eleventh grade. 11th grade I got the first green weed boom 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 so did you, you buy know, a, you bought you bought a car yeah. What, I, mean, what? I, I mean, I mean, I bought you know. No, nah, I, I, my first whip was a motorcycle. I was, okay. I was a nigga on a motorcycle. What you, I, you I, bought? A, I, what I, you I bought? One of the fastest motorcycles back in the day. I, I was a nigga used to be in front of Oakland High hitting wheelies. You know, what I mean, doing all that. I was you bought a and and, and and and, and um, I talked about this with uh, Vidal the other day from the delinquents. Right? We we talked about this too because this is culture shit. It wasn't a wheelies now, like how niggas let off the gas and let the bike go down. And this is full speed. Busting a willy down wherever you going. Right. You got to use body and on, right. on this motherfucker. Right. Ain't no, right. yeah, all that trick shit they yeah. be doing now. Yeah. No, yeah. niggas was really right. mobbing. Really. Right, right, yeah. Right. So what you what you had, a, a, a ninja? Nah, man, this was four ninjas. Okay, so this is. This a, is before ninjas. This is, ninjas hadn't even came out yet. This, I had an RD400. That shit look like a, like a Fonzarelli bike? That, no, that no, that was the first like ninja looking bike. With okay, the with, fans, the, with the with low the fans. bars. Okay. That was the first look. It was rd but what made them so special they was a two-stroke street bike mm. a two-stroke street bike see most dirt bikes is two strokes. it's two strokes right two strokes got that torque and that, that torque, power right and this was a two-stroke street bike so it could just hit the power hit the willy so good it was just it was just and you like and you like it was, it, you, was, it, was, it was a white boy special the white boys loved this bike you like and 15. It's, this bike is still a legend to this day right now rd 400 if you look at everybody's it's still like hot to damn this day. even though it's old people are still buying this bike to this day so so by the time 
crack hit you out of school? No. No, uh, uh. When crack hit, I watched crack. I watched crack really start from my uncles and them and Frankie Beverly and May sitting around the round table. They free basing though. Yeah, they ain't they, smoking yeah, this, cream. Yeah, this, yeah, this free base. This they, before crack. This before this crack. Free base. Right. Yeah, this free base when they got ether and this the, this before crack. This right. is free they free basing. Right. I watched the whole free base thing go down at my house. You know what I mean? Because you know my uncle used to come over. You know I guess it's still it's my sister's house. It's either torches. You know torches. The you big know, the it, big yeah, pipes. You know, big pipe. You know what yeah. I mean? They sitting around the round table. You know what I'm saying? I, I I went through that whole. I watched that whole thing. But 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 I like to paint a picture too. When you looking at these people, all the people, not just including your uncle. I'm talking about regular working people. Yeah, yeah. People that start smoking cream and, and free basing first. Yeah. They had paper though. Right. These wasn't no broke people. Nah, These wasn't nah, no. Jobs, you know how motherfuckers yeah, start right. looking down yeah, on Knox yeah, later right, on. Right, These motherfuckers had right, money. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, only yeah. People that have money could do this. Could back do this then. shit. Yeah, right. This, right. This, right. This, 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 this I just like to make this, that shit yeah, clear because motherfuckers yeah, look down on Knox and shit. Yeah. This is the motherfuckers who had money that could do that back then. Right. Right. Before when crack looked like it was, you know, you was a dope fiend. Right. 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 This was like you was high side partying. Yeah. 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 You know, you was on a different level. Yeah. Do this. You know. So that's how you get a line from short like too short and freddie b straight smoking coke that's on their record right you know what I'm saying? Right. that's on their record right. too short and freddie b straight right. smoking coke right. nigga they was that was you know what i mean right. it's like a nigga rapping about syrup right 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 you know what i'm saying right. like you know or some perks or something right. you know what i'm right. saying right. so so when the when crack hit right so you sit now. Well, before that, y'all, 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 young, y'all going to high school and shit right, like. Right, I got the weed. I'm playing hoop though. But see, my, my, I'm, I'm on. I'm playing my, my side shows and shit started yet. Yeah, the side shows started. Where they at? McDonald's. The ring. We at Sandy. We at McDonald's on seventy. Y'all at Doggy Diner. Yeah, we Doggy Diner. We at Skating Ring. Y'all at the Skating Ring. Boom, y'all at Mojo boom. Skating Ring or yeah, Foothill Square. Third. No, we we at Mojo. 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 Okay. We at San Leandro. Okay. We at San Leandro. Okay. We at San Leandro. okay. You know what I'm saying? We come boom boom. You know what I'm saying? That's back in the stain. I'm too young to know about all this shit, though. I'm telling y'all, but I was outside. That's back. That's back in the stain. Yeah, that's yeah. back in the stain Cougar days. You right, know what I'm right, saying? right. You know, I, I have one of the cleanest stains and Cougars. So this I is, have both stain so and you said, Cougars. So I have both stain and Cougars. So you a nigga that had all, through all the phases of the culture, you had all the rims. So you oh, had, yeah, so had, you yeah. had Star Wires and Vogues. Oh yeah, I was one. Of, oh, at one time in the town. Star Wires was the hottest wheel, and everybody was looking for them, and only four or five niggas had them. Huh. Y'all know what Star Wires is? And only four or five niggas, and only four. That, that's and, what wait, y'all. Wait, that, and only four or five niggas had them at one time. They was couldn't be bought. There was nowhere, and only four or five niggas had them. Mm. And I had some. <laughs> hey, but y'all know that's the, what them niggas doing. I had some. What them niggas doing in Houston? Junie had some from eighty fifth. What Junie the niggas doing in Houston? Some. That's Junie. That's that's Junie Cadillac outside. If you walk outside in the back here, that drop Cadillac in the back. Drop green was in the back. It's in the back right now. The green one in the back. Green was in the back. Junie shit in the back. Junie in the back. My nigga, my nigga. I got a picture, nigga. I can show you right now of me and Junie at a party, nigga. Nigga, and I'm fly as a motherfucker. I'm with Junie. Yeah. 